an ever-growing food supply is required to feed an ever-growing world population. But what forms a part of this food supply? Other than the obvious farming, agriculture, etc., there is a smaller, rather underestimated participant, the humble bee. Apart from their obvious role in producing honey, bees play a far more gigantic role in the ecosystem as pollinators. Pollination is vital to life on our planet. It is through pollination that plants are fertilized and able to produce their next generation, including the fruit and crops we eat. Bees and other pollinators have thrived for millions of years, ensuring the availability of food and maintaining biodiversity and vibrant ecosystems. Many plants depend on bees and other insects as pollinators. There are over 20,000 known species of bees globally and only some of these species are the famous honeybee. We may take them and other pollinators like butterflies for granted, but the fact remains that we need bees. Thanks to them, we can enjoy our coffee, apples, almonds, tomatoes and cocoa to name just a few of the crops that rely on pollination. But another fact that remains too is that these guys are in trouble. Over the past some decades, there has been a decline in the numbers of several species of bees, primarily due to human activities. The decline has several causes and are a combined effect of climate change, pesticide use, biodiversity loss, pollution, intensive agriculture, which includes land use changes for agriculture or urbanization, resulting in the loss and degradation of natural habitats. So, the big question, what would happen to us if we were to lose all our bees? The disappearance of bees could cause a food crisis. Well, we may still make our daily caloric requirements, but supermarket shelves would have half the variety of fruits and vegetables and we could almost forget about luxuries like almonds, apples and avocado. Certain key nutritive items on the menu could get extremely scarce and very expensive, throwing our balanced diets into a tizzy. While scientists figure out how best to reverse this decline, what can you do to encourage local bees to thrive? Many apartment blocks and homes in towns and cities have beautiful plants with lots of flowers growing on them. These are bee havens. However, very often fumigation is used in these premises, killing a lot of bees and other insect species. As far as possible, we need to stop fumigation and using pesticides in our gardens and agricultural fields and move towards only using natural methods of pest control. Encourage more bees in your area by planting more flowers and creating a floral bee oasis. This does not need too much space and can be easily done in part of a garden or even a small balcony. Grow various varieties of native plants and wildflowers to encourage biodiversity. And while you are at it, make sure something is blooming each season. Agriculturalists should use methods like crop rotation so that the fertility of the soil is always maintained with different types of crops. Additionally, this encourages diverse kinds of flowers to bloom throughout the year as opposed to monoculture cultivation where flowers only bloom during a certain time. Monoculture cultivation even robs soil of the fertility which comes with crop rotation. Gardens and agricultural fields should be bordered with native flowers. Bees need water to survive, to produce food by mixing it with pollen and nectar. They also use water to control the temperature in their hives. You could provide them with clean sources of water in shallow bowls. Also remember to add some stones or twigs so that they can safely land and not fall in and drown. Offer habitats to wild bee species and wasps by building and maintaining a bee hotel. Some species of wild bees or wasps seek out suitable pre-existing holes to nest in. These bee hotels can even be bought online. Beekeeping is also a hobby that you can adopt as urban beekeepers in your terraces, balconies or at your weekend home. You can learn about beekeeping yourself. For example, we at Brave Age Films have been maintaining our own bee boxes. Here, you can see our director, Sumesh Lekhi, displaying our bee boxes. 
He demonstrates how the bee colonies have settled very well, with honey even being capped inside the hive and the queen laying eggs. See inside the cell, you can see some white, white, like yeah, this one over there. Inside, inside, right, deep inside. It's like small, small flakes of rice. Okay. See, right in the middle, right inside. In the middle. Right in, inside these. Oh, oh, I see. I was looking. See the honeycomb the inside these. Yeah, yeah. We have been doing this to promote biodiversity and have not been harvesting honey. However, if you want, you could also use part of this organic honey after leaving enough for the bees. There are several international and governmental organizations working towards promoting these important pollinators and it is for us to understand the bigger picture that by saving bees, we are saving ourselves. It now remains to be seen how we make this planet a little more hospitable for these very important members of the ecosystem. In the meanwhile, stop using pesticides, find out where you can learn about beekeeping and keep a bee box or two, so we can save the bees that feed the world. <laughs>